Dude. Something flew off in the back of the room. The ball literally went flying off the chair. Could be him. Yeah. Oh my god. What the f is that? What the f is that? On the west coast of England, in the seaside town of Morecambe, stands once a very grand hotel, built during the Victorian era. Over the years, some really dark events have taken place here, which many believe has caused this building to become haunted, and remains that way to this day. This location was once one of the grandest, most luxurious hotels in Morecambe, built to attract the wealthiest, most influential people from all around the country. Built in 1865, this hotel flourished in the Victorian era. Unfortunately, over time, the popularity of seaside holidays began to decline as people were going abroad instead. Eventually, the hotel closed down and lay abandoned for a number of years. Today, majority of the building remains unused with the exception of the bar on the ground floor. One of the many reasons it's thought this hotel could be haunted goes back to Edmund Park. He was the original founder, which this place is named after. It's rumoured that Park held seances and strange rituals here after hours, as the Victorians were fascinated by the afterlife. In the year of 1899, Edmund Park mysteriously disappeared and has still never been found to this day. Many people speculate that he may have been murdered within this hotel and his body may still remain hidden within the property. It is said that a woman by the name of Emma Manson was murdered by a husband here in one of the rooms. The following day, his body was found hanging within the tower. Over the years, staff and guests have reported screams bellowing through the building, most of which have said sounded female. Could this be the sounds of Emma Manson's tragic death? Although we haven't yet shown this, we have already experienced something very strange whilst presenting the building's history, which we're about to investigate further. So we've literally just finished presenting uh, with the history, but we've just decided to come back to this section because you were stood here, yeah. and the ball literally went flying off the chair itself, so... so... We couldn't show it because the way the camera was set up on the tripod, it totally missed it. But if we just bring the camera into that room, I mean... My bottle was like that on the chair, and it literally sounded as if it was slapped. Um. Dude, are you recording? Yeah. My bottle was stood on that chair next to my phone. I'm saying Edmund Park and it launches into the corridor. Right now. Yeah, but I, I it won't see down. You can tell how fizzed up it is. Oh, I've got goosebumps. I, that has literally just been chucked out of the door. Man. On the chair. We don't want to move the camera because we're doing our presenting, but... What? Did... <laughs> it could have just fell off, but how long has that been on there for when well, we're doing all these takes? It's been like, what, a good 10, 15 minutes, obviously, doing the hosting section, the interview section right now, the history, and that is just blasted. But, it, but that's the thing, it didn't just fall over, it, it came out. It just flew out. 
it didn't just like drop off. I almost, was that standing up as well? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's as if. I almost thought I heard the slap yeah, of it. That's, that's what, what made thought, me look. Yeah. Dude, are you recording? From what I heard, it was just a big bang. Because it ended up pretty much just rolling across. Right there. across. So let's say, right, let's try and debunk this. Let's say I just knocked it off. Let's say, if, you know, if it was slightly on the edge over time, it was going to go. There's no way. No. Well, the funny thing is, obviously, we was presenting for about one. Well, as soon as the bottle was there, about 15, 20, 15, minutes, 20 minutes and nothing. Yeah. 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 Just there for, yeah. So, yeah. to recreate where it ended up, it even went further than that. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was right out. That was how it was, wasn't it? Probably not, not quite, quite as violent, but, but... The funny thing was, though, we were just talking about Edmund Park. Yeah. I'd literally just started saying his name and that comes flying out. That's a big coincidence. Huge. We've got the room pod. I think we should set the room pod up there just in case. Do some calling out. And just see if we can get it again. Because yeah. that, can you imagine if it does go off again, it'd be like, oh, no way. Yeah. Because that... so I'm thinking, could it have fell in such a way that it started to roll out? But nah, it's not going to happen. Stop like dead. It was there for a good 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. But even if it was to, it isn't going to end up like it did. No. It's just not going to happen. It was completely not. It was out that out kind of, of thing. 100%. Right, cool. Yeah, let's get a REM pod in there. So, like we were saying in the presenting, Mr. Park, Edmund, he mysteriously disappeared. Nobody to this day knows where he went. His body's never been found. He has just vanished. So many people think, whoa, whoa, I'm feeling something on my hand. Really? Whoa, wait a minute. Mass, massive. Can you feel that? Yeah. Feel that? I can. Oh, I got shivers. I was feeling like cobwebs on my hand, but I'm in the middle of the hallway. It is an abandoned building, but... But, we, yeah, we would have known before. Yeah. Like, there's like drafts are convention or whatever, but this, it felt like there's a cold breeze just coming across. Now they do say that's related to, yeah. you know, spirit manifestation. It seems to be as soon as we say his name. Just keep doing it. Maybe he, people speculate he was murdered in here and has never been found. Surely that would create an unrested spirit. Maybe he's just completely upset about his building, you know, his grand masterpiece, his hotel just being the way it is now and hates people like us coming in. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. So is that right, Edmund? Are you upset with people coming here? Again, I can feel it now. But it's time to like static build up. Yeah. Just a sound in that room then. Edmund, if this is you that we've already been experiencing. If you knock that bottle off, that, whoa, I'm getting it again. Honestly, it feels like cobwebs keep touching my hand, but I'm in the middle of a hallway. It's not constant. It literally feels like a really gentle press like cobwebs, because it's so like, that's the only reason to say cobwebs, because it's so gentle. Every time we say his name. Edmund, if this is you, We've placed a device on the floor, it's got a glowing red light, just in the doorway of this hotel room. Just by the bottle on the chair. If you are here right now, just go near that device, it will light up and just show us that you're here right now. Maybe I'll demonstrate. It says 15 on the side. Right. When I was presenting, part of the, what I was saying was she was killed in one of the rooms and I felt like I wanted a point in that room. Really? Just a feeling. Right. I'm not suggesting I'm right or that is the room. Yeah. I just had a gut feeling that we're standing outside that room that she was killed in. Right. So had the Park Hotel already showed us that there was in fact a haunting here. 
At this stage, we were unsure as to whether this could have been in relation to the disappearance of Mr. Park or the murder of Emma Manson and her husband's suicide. We hoped that our investigation into the night would reveal more. So it's now gone 11 o'clock. We found when we came up here earlier in the day, we were hearing quite a bit of contamination outside. This place is in the center of a town. So now it has quietened down quite a lot. But yeah, we were trying to debunk this bottle that come flying out of this room when we were presenting. We tried to recreate it and we just couldn't. So for me, that really was pretty compelling. That's why you could even hear the slap of it as well. Right. So that's why we've got four REM pods set up. One on either side of the hallway and two in each room. And we've got EM pumps as well to try and boost the energy flow in this place. And he said, obviously, spirits manifest from the energy buildup. So maybe we can get something by using this equipment. Whoa. Yeah, again, like you know, before a blast of a draft. blast of like the, yeah, the draft cold, cold, cold air. Yeah, 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 yeah. I felt that. Just come here, man. Just put your, your hand there. Because I moved round, I thought that now that you've said it. Yeah. I'm just gonna go down here and just see if there's like an opening. I can't say I'm really feeling any draft. Right, it's kind of just stops. To be fair, the draft was quite strong. Yeah, it was. Yeah. This is a long way for it to come. Yeah. Do you know what it's like? You, you know when you're passing someone in like a hallway? It's, yeah. It's, 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 it's like that, yeah. the whoosh. Yeah. That's exactly what it's like. It's, it's like the whoosh right. effect. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not feeling anything coming no. through. No. But why is it there? Something, you know, did something generally happen on the section here? It was said that Emma Manson, you know, was murdered. Was it possibly one of these rooms? We just don't know. Nobody knows. While we're down here, let's just, let's go check out down here, because we haven't really spent any time down here. Because we've also been talking about Mr. Park as well, when things seem to be happening. Could be him. Yeah. Is that red pot? Red pot's going on. Yes, the red pot. Oh, it's 100% the red pot, wasn't it? Which one? Yeah, My God. What? You're never gonna believe this, bro. Dude, the tap is on. The tap, the, what? the tap. Oh my God, the tap is on, bro. Holy man. Shit. I'm going so goosebumps right now, that is not right. That tap is on. No, there's no way. There's no way. I didn't even know this that camera, That camera's wrong, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, bro, the camera's, the yeah, camera's yeah. on to it. That will have heard it, come on. So maybe, maybe it was a case of the REM pods obviously might, well, I don't know if it has 100% gone off, but it, it, if the REM pod's just gone off and the tap's it's, gone on. It's that REM pod that's gone off. Me. Dude, how the hell is that tap on right now? There's no way. Dude, just check the tap, see how easy it is to, to manipulate. Guys, that was not on before, 100%. I went in that room. Yeah, that's what I mean. But we didn't hear it. When we stood outside this room. That tap was not on. That needs 100%. That needs turning. It's it's a proper functional tap. There's no fault with it. What? Oh, what the hell? hell? Oh that is my. Freaky f that. Oh my days. Oh my god. What? 
You're never gonna believe this, bro. Dude, the tap is on. The tap. The, what? The tap. Oh my god, the tap is on, bro. Holy. I've got so goosebumps right now. That is not right. Was this now the second time that we had documented what we could only describe as poltergeist activity in room 15? To our complete shock, it was in fact the REM pod within this room that was triggered literally moments before you hear the sound of water coming out from the tap. This surely can't be a coincidence. What also possibly validates this even further is that as soon as the alarm on the REM pod stops, you can see what looks like an orb moving away from the REM pod towards the camera. That is like... So in that room, right, so we've had the bottle launched out and now attacked him. Mate, this is like 100% like solid poltergeist activity right here. 100% isn't it? For, for something to be throwing things off, ag activating the REM pod and turning the taps on, that's, that's intense. Dude, that was like someone just coughed. Again. Yes, that's what I heard. Hello? On reviewing this footage, we hear what sounds like a man choking, which is extremely relevant. Could all this activity be the result of Emma Manson's husband, who hung himself after murdering her? Was this the last sound he ever made? That's intense. That's intense. I don't like getting him off sudden now. Are you in this room? Are you trying to get us into the room? Maybe we'll just go into the room. Should we just go into the room? Go on then. Come on, let's just, let's just see what happens. Right, we're coming into your space now. Let me just start and stop this camera. If this is caught that, I'm not going to risk losing that. Yeah. We still got the EM pump running in this room as well, so maybe maybe it is giving off enough energy for them to be using right now to set the REM pod off and tap on as well. That is absolutely bone chilling, man. But obviously we didn't see the REM pod, so it's going to be quite interesting to see. Yeah, if it was that one. If it's going to be that one. Because that would certainly support that. Because I mean, if that does, if that if that's been captured, it goes off, and a tap goes off. That is like you can't you can't deny that that's something. Creepy and strange is happening. What the? F Are you getting that? Bro, cobwebs again. Cobwebs again, but this time it was like, it was like someone just like tickled my yeah, arm, yeah. mate. Mate, that is exactly what I was getting in the door earlier. I think, like you said earlier, Owen, perhaps this is the room where that Emma got murdered. Wonder. Because if you think about it, right, that tower is literally just to the side. Oh yeah. Isn't it? where the guy hung himself, so he's done it. It's pretty close it's to go room. there. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what happened? Is that what happened? You was murdered in this room, and then your husband went to the tower to kill himself? Oh, getting really heavy vibes mm. in here. It seems like the gravity's starting to come down. It is, isn't it? That's exactly what it's like. It's like you've been forced down. Yeah, yeah. Emma, it's hard to breathe. Isn't it? Is it true that you're also? I feel sick, man. Seriously, I feel like I can't say what I was gonna say. Is it true that you were pregnant as well? It's pretty horrendous, isn't it? Like he's killed his wife, who was pregnant. Why? Unless it wasn't his child he found out. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe that is the case. Come closer. 
If you're the guy, if you're the guy that murdered Emma, how about you come in and murder us? Great idea, mate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Get the oh, sink and turn taps on, and you just. <laughs> We've got to test some stuff out when it's warm. Speak for yourself, man. All right. Well, last of the us. <laughs> come and try and murder me. Tell you what, I'm, I'm just going to stand. I'm just going to stand here. Has your courage come from all this? I don't know, man. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but... Emma, there's been a little boy sighted throughout this hotel by many people. Is he anything to do with you? Is, is he your unborn child? Grown up? Wherever you are? So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this REM pod into the bathroom, just in case. Yeah, after that tap went Yeah, on. that's just there now. <sighs> I think we should get the spirit box on now, though. Yeah, as far as the spirit box, then that'll just help ramp it up again. Yeah. I need to get another batch from Yeah, cool. What the Dude, f***? What the 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 f***? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Holy shit. What? Just. You freaked. Dude. Something flew off in the back of the room. Bro, something ran up on me, mate. And then when I turned to you, it looked like something moved in the back. What the? F I'm freaking out. Come back in here, man. Let's just calm this down a sec. Guys, what's going on in that room, mate? Oh, man. I'm busting myself up, man. You alright? Wreck myself on the floor. I just come round the corner and you're on the floor. <sighs> what the hell just happened? Reviewing the footage from our multiple cameras, you can clearly hear, as Carl describes, the sound of someone running in the corridor as he was about to leave the room. Yeah. I need to get another battery. Yeah, cool. <laughs> what the f? Dude, what the, the f? Yeah, cool. What then causes myself and Sean to react was a loud crash behind me near the window, which despite our multiple cameras did not manage to visually capture as we were obstructing the line of sight. Cool. What the What the f is that? What the f 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 What the Let's just brave this out, come on. Oh, bro. I don't know what you're saying because I don't see anything. Dude, look at the mate. What? Look at this. Just, just. <laughs> this is not right, bro. What's Dude, what? the chair, look at the chair, mate. The chair's on the tilt. Can you see it? Oh, 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 oh. How's it got there? Must be that. Well, where was that before, though? Mate, that was that. That was on. He's right. There was a that chair was on, on the there. table. As you can see, when we first entered this room, the chair was stood on the table, with no reason that we can see for it to suddenly fall off, especially as we were all near the front of the room when it happened. Was this now the third case of poltergeist activity in this room? At this stage, there was no longer any doubt in our minds. Okay, so this is getting serious. So, is that you? Yeah. So, but what, guys, there was a massive, loud man breathe out of here, just like really loud. Are you? Yeah. So, but what, guys, there was a massive, loud man breathe out of here, just. Are you? Yeah. So, but what, guys, there was a massive, loud man breathe out of here, just. Nowhere is safe right now. Jesus. 
Needing to replace our camera batteries, we recomposed ourselves down at the base room and quickly reviewed the footage from what just happened. Realizing that this was possibly the most intense activity we'd experienced to date, we knew we had to get straight back up there and try to communicate with whoever was clearly making themselves known. Oh, we are on edge in here right now. <laughs> oh my god. Right, so yeah, we've come up with the Alice box. We've also got the spirit box running through the portal, so it's just reducing the white noise so we can try and hear stuff a little bit better. Can you put your voice into this box? Shout into this equipment that we've got right here on this chair. Shout your name for us. Or you can try and... <coughs> You can try and manipulate this device in my hands. Again, tell us your name. Are you still in here? Seems different in here now. Have we still got the EM pumps running? No. Ah, well, isn't that interesting? That that's that is interesting because we've had the EM pumps running for hours. Factors. 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 Yeah, maybe, maybe the, the EM pump was a big right. factor. That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah the factor yeah. of building it up. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Because we've had it running for a long time and then it just seemed that was, that was you know, all the activities happening. It's a good point. It's a good point. Hmm. Is that what you was doing? You was using the energy to manifest. Because it does it feel. It said. Climbed. Climbed? Position. Climbed. Climbed up the stairs and positioned himself to kill himself, bro. Peter. Peter? Maybe that was his name. We haven't even been in that tower yet. No. Definitely think we should go there should we go quite there soon. Now? You want to go there now? That is connected. Yeah, so yeah let's let's just do that. Let's let's go there because that seems funny. Like really ironic. It said yeah. climb position, yeah, yeah. Peter. Maybe the guy was called Peter. He killed. Let's do that. Huh? Killed the woman. Yeah. After you, bro. Please try and tell us your name. 
we experienced nothing further whilst in the tower. And as the time was now approaching 3am, it meant that it was time for tonight's fear experiment, which we all knew would have to be in that dreaded room 15. It is now time for the fear experiment, and it's going to have to be back in that dreaded room 15. One of us is going to have to spend the rest of the night in there, on their own. It's not going to be good. No, I mean, this is, this is just ridiculous now, you know, it just seems to be getting worse and worse every time. Yeah. I mean, that room is nasty. So, who wants to go first? Uh, go on then. I do feel for you, but we've had it rough already this season. Yeah, we it's have. your first time, so I don't envy you, don't get me wrong, but I do feel sorry for you. Very sorry, especially in this room. All the activity is just insane. But just to spice things up a little bit more for you, Owen. Ian Pump. We'll just put that there and boost the energy. Mm. Thanks. Alright, do you want to get tucked in then, dude? I'll just stay with you just in case the bed collapses because they are Jesus. pretty old, aren't they? Literally, it's a balancing act. <laughs> this is not going to be fun. <laughs> Literally, I'm doing this. <laughs> if we were another big crash, <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> oh, man, this is not comfortable. <laughs> oh, I love it. Right, I'm just. Um, <laughs> I can't cope with this anymore. We're leaving you a radio, so. Let's do a quick test. Test, 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 test. There we go. I'm literally like. You just got to turn the other way, I think, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what this is? Payback, this is. Karma. Yeah, karma. <laughs> Escaping all those challenges. Oh, I've got it's come to. Right, we're going to leave you then. You good? Yeah. Okay. Go. Go. If it gets too bad, you've got the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Right, man. Good night. Have a good See sleep. I'm going to get no sleep, zero sleep. I'm literally just going to be awake all night, or for the remainder of the night. So to whomever that was in here earlier on that uh, caused those things to happen, are you still here? We get the feeling that this could be the room that someone was killed in. There are various devices in this room that uh, you can trigger to let me know you're still here. This library is meant to be quite active. There. There. Sean and Carla, two floors down. <clears throat> okay, guys, uh, they're gone.
What was that? You heard a bang? Yes. I so I'm hearing like a door banging down right down the end of the corridor, and I'm hearing like it's almost like someone's moving around. Guys, the red pod's just gone off. And, and it sounded like something was getting really close to it. And I heard footsteps outside the corridor. I kid you not. Taps going again. Taps going again. Guys, taps going again. Taps going again. What's he say? What? What does he say? You what, bro? Tap's going again. The tap's going again. Oh, what? The tap in the bathroom's running again. I'm out. Can't do it. What? You said the tap was running again. The tap's running. I've left it running. I, I just literally heard. I thought it was like someone was flushing the toilet. What? I've just looked in there. The tap's running. No. I swear. No I swear. I've left it running, I've just come out. Oh my god. So I take it you're not gonna be sleeping in there. I ain't sleeping there. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm done. With what had just happened, we all had to go back up to room 15 to once again examine this tap that had now started running by itself for the second time tonight. Is that the same one as earlier? It is, isn't it? What the hell? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. Frustrated with ourselves that we didn't leave a static camera on the tap after it happening the first time, we now set one up to leave for the remainder of the night while we all try to get some sleep back down at the base room. But unfortunately, as would be the way, it didn't happen again. So how do we conclude this investigation? It goes without saying that this was by far one of the most intense investigation in terms of physical activity that we have ever experienced. Leading us to believe that there was in fact a poltergeist presence within room 15. As paranormal investigators, it is a big deal for us to state this, as we're always trying to explain things as rationally as possible. 
but with the amount of evidence consistently captured in and around that room from the moment we started presenting during the day right up until around 4am, we are simply unable to explain the majority of this phenomena. We did however consult with a plumbing company to try and find out if old taps can turn on by themselves as a result of pressure or something, which they did confirm can sometimes happen, but less commonly with screw style taps as the case was here. Additionally, the following day when we spoke to the owner of the building and informed her of what happened, she told us that she had never found any taps running in the building before. Which further leads us to believe that this was an isolated event due to something trying to reveal itself in that room. So let's say that this was in fact the result of a paranormal entity. The question was, who from the hotel's troubled past does this seem to be connected to? Piecing together all of our evidence, we believe it most strongly connects with the husband of Emma Manson, although we were unable to discover his first name. Was it Peter, as the Alice box stated, along with the other words possibly related to his hanging? There was also a choking-like sound captured coming from within the room 15 shortly after the tap first came on, again further supporting it being the husband. It would make sense that the horrendous act of murdering his wife could have trapped his spirit here, unable to be free of his guilt even in death, and therefore forced to reside in the room where he committed his awful deed. Of course, assuming that this was the room where the murder took place. 